Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com, please like, share, and subscribe. So we have a Heathkit SB220, needs everything done to it, has the RO measure stuff, has a plate tune cap where the plates are badly damaged. So we'll have to replace that. I broke the uh, well. The input rotary switch is snapped. It's, it's hard to see. I'll show it after when I take it out. It's snapped right. And about where that black thing is right there. It's snapped. So shaft is seized. Has an old Harbach metering board and filter cap board. One of the Resistors damaged, and yes, I'm going to change that because I'm sure the cap is damaged. So, um, ground the grids. Uh, someone changed the circuit breakers at some point. Do a good job. Wire. Replace the wire. A lot of the strands are not connected. So, okay. I'll go over everything else and, uh, be back. Also as a Carbock fan, old stuff. This was all done a long time ago. Okay, so stay tuned. See you guys soon. Hey, I have the front panel off. There's some weird stuff going on over here too. Guess that's a fuse, homemade fuse, that little tiny wire. And I don't know what's up with other lead here, which is that you know, the same potential as this one would be positive and the board was put in backwards. I've never seen that before. So anyway, here's the input rotary switch. As you can see, it's snapped right in half. Craziness. I've never seen that happen. So I'm guessing someone somehow whacked the knob and bent it within the bushing and then tried to force it or something. Who knows? I don't know. It's part of the job trying to backwards figure out what the person did. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can only make a get you know I can only guess, you know, I can actually get a guess. So I'm gonna get back to work. I have a donor one. I have another amp one that's in perfect condition. I just have to be super careful. And uh See you guys soon. Stay tuned. Not soon, it'll be a bit, but soon for you guys. <laughs> fun, fun. Boy, that was fun. <laughs> Just kidding. So, replacement one is in. Everything soldered real nice, nice. So what I did was I clipped each wire and removed the solder with the solder sucker. Got rid of the old wire. Put the replacement switch in. Kept the uh, stock lead lengths because that can affect the tuning. It's all lined up. I have my little cheat sheet here. Oh, it took forever. So, back to work. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back with the completed SB220. This thing was a two day event. Actually, a little over two days. Just needed a lot of stuff done to it. The original owner, not the person that sent it to me, but I guess that guy just did a lot of stuff to it. And just a lot of messy stuff and a lot of issues. So I'm going to go over everything I did. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome customer service. Great product. Awesome people over there. So I'll show you everything I did. So I put the new Harbach metering board in. I own Harbach Electronics now. So I have them in stock. So there's no wait on kits. Someone sends me a, an amp that needs a kit. I have them in stock. If they're on my site I ha and they're marked in stock. I have them available here. Okay, so new metering board, new filter cap board, series glitch resistor, resecured, the negative lead connection here. New B positive wire, new input rotary switch, 
as I showed you before. The inner nuts were really loose, they tightened those. It's thundering outside. So brand new plate tune air variable capacitor. Plate side. New plate blocking capacitor. New strap going from the plate blocker over to the plate choke. New parasitic suppressor assemblies that I wound. This is a Harbach fan someone added at some point. Reconnected the choke here. It was disconnected. Retention the high voltage crowbar interlock piece right here. So now it when the covers off it'll touch and put a short in the B positive supply for the plate. You know, to protect the person from getting electrocuted or if you know if you wait for the be positive the bleed down gets rid of any residual voltage in the caps so you never want to put a hard short on electrolytics so that's just a way to protect you in case someone went in here and you know forgot it was on or whatever so uh, you can end up damaging the cap if you uh, put a hard short on it also if you don't have any meter protection diodes between the B negative and ground or across the plate current meter and it's on the plate current function it will take out the the meter and the amplifier so this board comes with meter protection diodes built on better biasing and stock this board has plastic spa spacers that hold the capacitors in I've seen another kit where it's held in with these rubber pieces uh, I, don't, I don't like that you know they're like wedged in there can end up flopping over and again I put the series glitch resistor right here so air can move around it I don't have it up on the board because then I'd end up with board heating. You don't want all that heat right against the board. Okay, so also new meter lamp bulbs, zip tied everything really nice. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxid gold, the band switch with deoxid gold. You always want to check all these connections, make sure they're nice and tight and you have good solder joints, which I do. I will flip it over. I also replace the the knob for the band switch. The other one was damaged. It was seized and the guy was really cranking on it. Okay, so I'll flip it over. Be right back. Stay tuned. Also a new wire for the B negative. Be right back. Okay, so the SO239s are usually good, but these ones were shot and they are a pain in the butt to change. So I don't change them if I re unless I really need to, but they had to be changed. So changed both of them. Get rid of the RL measure stuff. Everything soldered really well. I'll put one of those zip tie blocks back here to keep the green wire for, for the relative power meter from sagging down and hitting the fan blades. I got rid of those wire nuts and soldered and heat shrunk the connections for the fan leads. I fixed the line connection over here it was uh, a lot of the uh, the strands for the conductor were severed and weren't making a connection so fix that resoldered it really well left that one alone you know less is more you only do what needs to be done otherwise you can open up a can of worms so that solder connection is okay that lead is okay these solder connections are okay changed electrolytic I always change that I got rid of those really wide straps someone added and put the proper leads in. The One of them was actually touching the negative side lead for the relay coil that fires the, the TR relay. Put one of those blocks in, secured the wire so it's not flopping, did the bias, the self bias modification, pulled the wires away from the output lead over here that comes from the tank circuit goes back to the tier slash bias relay reconnected the safety choke this choke's critical so if you ever had a plate block cap failure you know some amps have one two or more if one of those were to fail it would allow you know if they felt short it would allow DC you know if the amps key to allow DC to go out to the antenna so this would bring the DC to ground and put a short on the line put a short on the plate so that would 
pop the line breaker. Zip tied everything real nice. Grounded the grids really well. Had enough room to have the strap to the chassis over here. So, did that. And I think that's about it. Touch up on a solder joint over here. And uh, this thing is all set. So, if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Website's amprepairguy.com. My other website is called harbachelectronics.com. I get things done quick. Usually things are in and out within two weeks. And Harbach orders are usually filled and shipped within one business day. So quick with shipping and quick with everything so an AL80B is next so I'll show that and uh, yes people are asking about the AK Ultra I don't have time for that yet that you know I will that's uh, not really um, urgent yet that's that's a kind of a project uh, customers amplifiers and hardbuck orders come first so it will be on the bench soon, at least the RF deck, and I'll show you the inside of it. But I'm not sure what the fate of that will be yet. Okay, so stay tuned. Please, again, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. 73.